Tinder's School of Swipe, a new approach to an old problem. Online dating has become increasingly popular. Platforms like Tinder connect millions, yet safety concerns loom large. Tinder's School of Swipe seeks to address these concerns. This consent education program targets young Australian users. Developed with experts, it aims to promote safer online dating experiences. School of Swipe provides resources like the Dating Dictionary Consent Edition. It also offers informative videos. The program focuses on educating users about consent. It aims to equip them with the knowledge and skills to navigate online dating safely. The program's success hinges on its ability to reach and engage its target audience. Tinder's initiative comes at a time of heightened awareness about online safety. The program's launch reflects a growing recognition of the need for proactive measures. It signals a step towards creating a safer online dating environment for young Australians. Whether School of Swipe will effectively address the complexities of online dating remains to be seen. Understanding the Catalyst Research Findings and User Concerns Tinder's decision to launch School of Swipe was not arbitrary. It stemmed from concerning research findings. Tinder's research revealed a lack of consent awareness among young Australians on dating apps. While many expressed confidence in understanding consent, misconceptions were prevalent. For instance, a significant percentage were unsure about stealthing. Stealthing is the non-consensual removal of a condom during intercourse. Alarmingly, some even believed it to be acceptable. This highlighted a dangerous gap in understanding consent boundaries. The research also revealed that many felt pressured to conform to their partner's desires. This pressure often led to them disregarding their own boundaries. This finding underscored the need for a program like School of Swipe. The program aims to empower users to assert their boundaries. It encourages open communication about consent. A reactive industry. Addressing criticism and seeking solutions. Tinder is not alone in facing scrutiny. The entire online dating industry has come under fire. Criticism has mounted over the prevalence of harassment, abuse and safety concerns on these platforms. Tinder, in particular, has been criticised for not effectively regulating its platform. This lack of regulation has led to calls for greater accountability. The industry is now taking steps to address these criticisms. Initiatives like School of Swipe are part of a broader effort to improve user safety. Dating apps are under pressure to prioritise user well-being. This includes implementing stricter community guidelines and improving reporting mechanisms. Normalising the unacceptable. The perils of online dating culture. A worrying trend has emerged within online dating culture. Negative experiences such as harassment and abuse are often normalised. Many users, particularly women, view these experiences as an inherent part of online dating. This normalisation of negativity is dangerous. It prevents users from recognising and reporting abuse. This normalisation also allows perpetrators to act with impunity. It fosters an environment where abuse can thrive. Challenging this culture is crucial for improving online dating safety. Section 5. Stepping in. Government intervention and industry self-regulation. The Australian government has taken notice of the issues plaguing online dating. In 2023, a National Roundtable on Online Dating Safety was convened. This brought together stakeholders from various sectors, including the dating industry, government agencies 
and victim survivor advocates. The Roundtable sent a clear message to dating apps, self-regulate or face formal regulation. In response, dating apps, including Tinder, have agreed to a voluntary code of conduct. This code includes measures such as improved collaboration with law enforcement, platform-wide bans on inappropriate behaviour and enhanced user education. The effectiveness of this self-regulation remains to be seen. However, it represents a step towards accountability and a safer online dating environment. Section 6. School of Swipe Under Scrutiny a well-intentioned misstep. While School of Swipe is a well-intentioned initiative, it has not been without its critics. One major point of contention is the program's external website format. Critics argue that this separate platform limits its reach and impact. They advocate for integrating the program within the Tinder app itself. This, they believe, would increase user engagement and accessibility. Another criticism targets the program's framing of sexual violence as a miscommunication issue. Critics argue that this oversimplifies a complex problem. They emphasize that sexual violence is rooted in power imbalances and societal issues, not just miscommunication. Framing it as such, they argue, risks downplaying its severity and impact on survivors. Section 7. Beyond the Surface. Inclusivity and the need for tailored approaches. A crucial aspect of online dating safety is inclusivity. Certain groups are disproportionately vulnerable to online dating violence. These include women, LGBTQIA plus individuals, and culturally and linguistically diverse communities. These groups often face intersecting forms of discrimination and abuse. School of Swipe's effectiveness hinges on its ability to address the specific needs of these vulnerable groups. This requires going beyond generic content and adopting a more nuanced approach. Culturally specific content and tailored resources are essential for ensuring that all users feel safe and protected. Section 8. The Bigger Picture. A call for comprehensive safety measures. While initiatives like School of Swipe are commendable, they are only one piece of the puzzle. Addressing online dating safety requires a comprehensive strategy that goes beyond individual programs. It necessitates a multi-pronged approach involving various stakeholders. Technology companies, policymakers, law enforcement, and community organizations must collaborate. This collaborative effort should focus on creating a safer online environment. This includes implementing robust reporting mechanisms, effectively moderating harmful content, and providing support services for survivors. Section 9. Towards a safer future fostering respect and accountability online. The ultimate goal of online dating safety measures is to foster a culture of respect, consent and accountability. This requires a collective shift in attitudes and behaviours. Education is crucial, but it is not enough. We need to challenge harmful norms and promote healthy relationships. This includes holding perpetrators accountable for their actions. By working together, we can create an online dating landscape where everyone feels safe, respected and empowered. The journey towards a safer online dating world requires ongoing effort and collaboration.